Just over two years ago, on September 20th, 2019, Adriel Pursu from Belmont Caracou, Jake Edmund and Teron Hazel, a fisherman from the Sister Isle of Caracou and Petey Martinique, and two police officers, D.C. Kevin Wickham and Harris Collier, performed what was deemed an act of heroism. The young men risked their lives, saving that of 18 passengers from a number two commuter bus that had plunged into the sea on the carnage St. George. Unfortunately, one person perished. The young men on the Sister Isle were presented with the Civilian Medal on Wednesday by Commissioner Edwin Martin. On Thursday, the remaining 16 were awarded by the top cop at a special ceremony at Fort George. Commissioner Martin says when ordinary citizens perform acts that contribute to saving lives, it earns respect, appreciation, and admiration. I am confident that your actions were never about being honored, but rather about doing the right and honorable thing when the life of another is in imminent danger. This is refreshing when the spontaneous action of many is to use the devices to record and post the incident rather than offer help. Your actions remind me of a quote by Martin Luther King, and I quote, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Mr. Frederick Braffis has no medical experience but performed CPR on the day based on what he learned from watching various shows on television was also awarded. The Civilian Medal was also presented to Rian Barry for rescuing a 92-year-old woman from her burning house in Duquesne St. Mark last month. The greatest high you can get in life is by helping someone. And Mr. Rian Barry is no exception. He displayed bravery and selflessness by risking his life to save the life of Miss George. A, hero a heroic deed that will resonate on the minds of all who witness or have knowledge of this relentless pursuit in saving the life of Lewis George. A hero in his own right. Medals of Honor were also bestowed on officers attached to the Grenada Coast Guard for their valiant capture of five alleged Tobagonian robbers following the robbery at the Grenada Cooperative Bank branch in Karakou last month. The police high command says the hybrid unit was established on the sister rail following the 2019 robbery at, at the Grenada Union of Teachers Credit Union branch in Karakou to deter transnational and organized crimes and ensure peace and security on the island. A security gap was still identified. The PF is pleased that not only did this unit effectively fulfill its intended purpose, but that in doing so, it also solved the crime which led to its creation. As you are aware, the subsequent investigations which followed confirmed that one of the individuals who was caught this time around was involved in the 2019 robbery of the credit union. Having postmortemed the circumstances of the recent incident, we have identified a security gap. And therefore, we will be moving to implement a rapid response unit for the Christmas season on the Sister Isle. He commended the officers involved in the apprehension of the robbers. Christina John, GBN News.